Hi, here we are in Singapore. We've just spent a pretty amazing two weeks exploring outdoor education in Singapore and how that works and what it, how it compares to outdoor education in Australia. We're here at Republic Polytech where our students are spending time hanging out and having conversations with the Republic Polytech students who are doing a diploma in outdoor and adventure learning. Some of our students are on the abseiling wall today and having class with the Republic Polytech students. And more importantly than just spending time going down the abseil wall, it's the conversations and the interactions that they're having across these two weeks with a whole range of people in Singapore that have been the really amazing learning opportunities. From conversations on the train as we head to our next journey to in-depth discussions about the challenges and the opportunities for outdoor education across the world in classroom settings as we've chatted with people around this country. Some of the activities that we've undertaken to kind of explore this and get some questions answered have been fantastic. We started off spending time in some natural parks like Labrador Adventure Park and then comparing that with the super trees at Gardens by the Bay and the differences that that incurs and how do Singaporeans engage with nature and is it possible in such an urban environment and a dwindling natural spaces that they have. We've walked down the Green Corridor, an old rail trail that uh, lies in the balance at the moment and Singapore's trying to work out exactly what they do with that. We've walked through the central catchment area and McRitchie Reservoir and seen how close the golf courses get. Climb towers, we've seen the National Service men undertake their training in an urban park because there's very little space. We've ridden bikes around the Eastern Connector Path and headed past the airport and the coast. While we were down on the coast, we've spent time windsurfing, having a look at high ropes courses and how that works. And how do you achieve outdoor education when you have limited natural spaces? We've headed out to Pulau Ubin, to Outward Bound Singapore, to see what their take on outdoor education is. We've explored the sense of resilience, personal development and community and how that happens and what the context is in Singapore and how that compares to Australia. What our students have done is spend time developing their thoughts and reflections and posting them on this website. And I think more than anything, it hasn't so much answered questions as, as created a whole lot more. And that's certainly coming through in a lot of the posts that are coming out. So our hope is that in the next weeks and months and probably years that these answers may be coming through in the work that our students will do when they graduate soon. Some of the other experiences that we've had in Singapore have been fantastic in terms of exploring different ways of being able to do things and it'll be, there'll be things here that we can take back home to Australia and, and put it in a, in a slightly different context. Particularly thinking about how we can use our more local areas because we don't need to go too far to run some particular outdoor education that is uh, certainly made more evident here in Singapore. So as we prepare to go back home, we'll be asking more questions and hoping finding more answers. But the time we've spent in Singapore here has certainly enlightened and enriched and enlivened our enthusiasm for outdoor education. <laughs>